This right here is the very first Viper. In fact, it was introduced in 1989. This is the first mule. Today, at Sonoma Raceway, I got to drive the brand new 2013 Viper with Ralph Giles, the guy who heads up the SRT group at Chrysler. Check it out next on the Fast Lane Car. Man, <laughs> there, <laughs> tell yeah. me about this car. What's it like? I mean, this is its natural environment to track, right? Well, it's pretty happy out here. I mean, it really it's much more composed. Um, a lot of you know, I hear the words accessible from our engineers, it's much more accessible um, and has a lot more depth. My favorite part of the new car is the steering, it's yep. uh, much more precise, much more linear, um, quicker. So, if, if in the event that you do have a little slippage, you can correct very, very quickly, which I like a lot. So the car feels smaller too, it's shrunken, you know, physically feels like uh, it's kind of shrunken in all dimensions, so. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's actually shorter than a 911. Yeah, it's a much, co very compact car, but that long hood proportion really makes it look uh, pretty outrageous, you know. Now, what percentage do you think of your customers are actually going to take this thing on the track? Uh, roughly about 20%, perhaps. Yeah. Because this is really where you can, I mean, you can, limits of this car are so high you can't really tell on the road but, yeah. but when you're on the track this is where it really can shine. Yeah, comes alive exactly and it's very robust too especially the new engine we put forged pistons in there so it can really uh, take quite a hammering you know and that's the beauty a lot, a lot of other exotic cars have a very high cost of ownership which is not the case with the Viper. You know? Now you're kind of in a unique position you're not only a CEO of a brand but you're also a race car driver <laughs> so, so I mean obviously when the guys work for you put this car together some you know, deep knowledge that you would be on the track and, and oh yeah its paces. And, and I've been involved with them I've been in their shorts uh, to put it that way for a while you know because I'm really you know I feel it's a privilege to get an opportunity to do a car like this especially with the limited resources we had everything had to count right so we really uh, relied on our expertise we relied on our, our uh, experiences um, so I'm glad that I can speak their language and it really helps get things done quickly now what was kind of Everything? Everything. It's power to weight ratio. It's the footprint. The car has the largest rubber of any supercar in the world. Uh, the tire type. We worked with Pirelli and they really came to the party with a nice tire for us. Actually two tires, the, the Corsa and the P0. And they really are tuned for this car. And then of course the, the balance. The, the car's always had a 50-50 weight distribution, but the rear tires had too much authority in the past. So you weren't getting the best out of it. The new wider front track, wider front tire allows the the front to work much harder and now the car is much more balanced because of it. Yeah, and that's, a, I mean, that's a really good word, balance. Before yeah. it was a brute. I mean, you really yeah. had a manhandle around the course and now it's subtle inputs. Exactly. It like it's matured. And we had too much roll stiffness in the back, so the back really didn't have as much grip. Now, once the tires are up to temperature, it's got astonishing grip, uh, especially corner exit. Instead of tail out craziness, it actually just sunk, hunkers down and goes. Now, there's enough power that if you want to, you can really you know, do some showboating, but if you want to seriously drive, it can be very precise. Oh yeah. And you don't have any turbo lag, no supercharger? No. Nope. It's none, just all there right at your toe. And none, none of the parts to break, you know. And we also worked on the ET, ET, ETC throttle, so it feels like a cable car. Very, very immediate throttle inputs, which allows you to adjust your line mid-corner. And one of my favorite features is the new uh, aluminum flywheel. So the the, the engine really zings. I'm going to downshift here. You can really heel to. Listen to that. You know, it gains RPMs and comes down really nicely. Another great thing is, I mean, it's got so much torque, you could drive this thing in third gear round if you wanted to. <laughs> right? If you were a little bit worried about the but we, we, uh, we, we also closed down the gear spacing. So first and six are much closer so you're working if you want to you can really have fun and work the car you don't need to because you can drive it like you said up a gear or two uh, but the car overall is much more engaging
Yeah. Yeah, it's off and on. Off and on, yeah. But even when it's on, it's not very intrusive. No. Like, I, we have it on now and it's not coming into play. Yeah, it's crazy. As long as you're smooth and... It can tell if you're not happy, you know. If it's not happy, it'll, it'll let you know it, but... at the office for me. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It doesn't feel like a good flight either when you get going fast. Yeah, once the tires are, are in, it's, this thing's unbelievable. Now you've got, you've got some, uh, you got a pretty big whale tail. Is that to provide downforce on this type of things? Yeah, it's all the... Uh, a lot of negative lift naturally in the body of the car. Yep. Probably gonna have to do something eventually. We're getting our clientele is getting a little older, yeah. and they would like to thank you. Yeah. They would like to experience uh, the car. And uh, nowadays, the the automated and automatic transmissions are so much better that they don't cost you any speed. So I'm pretty. Uh, think be I think the technology's finally converged that we're gonna t address that in the life cycle of this car. It will have some kind of automated transmission. Excuse me? You have more that can deal with that much power right now. Right? Yeah, we do. Yeah. It's more of a packaging problem. Oh. It's a little bigger than the, the space we have. How about you personally? Do you like shifting or do you like the panel shifting? I love shifting. I love the art of it. You know, there's an art to it. The heel and toe, the engine compression. And if you mess up, it's your fault. You know, the automatics are so good, they prevent you from <laughs> screwing up sometimes. Oh wow, there's so many parts. I, I think overall it's the steering uh, response. I'm just really impressed with you know, the steering wheel, how it feels, but the connection you have to the car is through this and this, right? So the control, yeah, yeah. 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 Like part of the so I like how the car is just, it's more holistic now. It feels like a system that's working together. Uh, I could drive this all day long. I mean, the other car, I'd get out of it, I'd be tired, you know? Yeah, it beat you up. This vehicle, I'm just, I can't, I want to go again and again and again because you keep getting better. It allows you to improve. Um, so I would say the, the, the best part of the car is, is the fact that it's a car. Yeah. It's one car now, not... Not a whole bunch of parts. So yeah, not just a big engine, you know, so... Yeah. Midnight oil, I mean, every waking hour. I think that nice job with the sound, you know? It really has a nice little yeah, cackle to it now. The sound is incredible. I mean, I was sitting out there shooting the other car, and you just you hear it coming down the straight away, and yeah. it just, it just <laughs> puts a huge smile on your face, because there's no other sound like that. Yeah. Do you have one ordered yet? Yep. Yeah. What color? White. Uh, white GTS with a track back. Nice. Can't wait. It's going to get delivered in the middle of winter. Torture. <laughs> no, but it's a privilege to, uh, to be part of this program. And really, it's a privilege to be part of the 
the history of this car. I think, you know, we'll look back years from now and say it was something special. Thank you very much, Rob. That was really good. Thanks. That's crazy because you can look at this car and you can draw a direct line all the way over to that car, which is the latest model. Yep. And you've been at the company the whole time. So yep. did you ever think when you were designing this car that it would eventually lead to a supercar I, with 640 you, horsepower? Back in 1989 when I was working on this thing, I thought this was going to be something that we'd do for a couple years and it would go away and that would be the end of it. I, I could have never dreamed that 22 years later, here I am still with these cars at 640 horsepower when we struggled to make 400 out of the the same basic geometry back then so it's been a heck of a career for me and a very rewarding career and uh, like I said I never would have imagined.